Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're going to check out a couple of our leopard geckos. We've actually got a good opportunity to show you guys uh, what the difference is between a normal tail and a regrown tail uh, when it comes to leopard geckos. Like a lot of lizard species, leopard geckos can regrow their tails if they drop them or if they're broken off somehow, but they'll never quite look the same when they grow back. And today we're going to kind of show you what it looks like. All right, so I've got two little guys for you right here. We got two leopard geckos, one of which has its original tail. I'll show you her. So this little one, I wouldn't call her little, she's pretty dang big. Anyway, this one has its original tail, nice and long and ridged. Uh, you can tell it's got those rid nice ridges nice patterning going on there and everything. Say so this one hasn't dropped its tail at all, or it hasn't been broken off. And uh, you can tell this is a pretty well-fed gecko because it's nice and fat too. But now I'm gonna put this one down and then we're gonna take a look at this little one. Hi, see that? That is a regrown tail. Now how regrown tails are different is that they're actually, when they grow back, they don't look as pretty as they used to. Now you can tell on this one where the tail was broken off. If you look really closely, you can tell, you can see right here, that uh, the, uh, the, back, the skin has nice bumpy scales right here. But when you go further down, the scales are really tiny and you don't have those really bumpy, uh, rigid scales. So when their tail grows back, it just grows back with a nice smooth skin with the small scales on it. In this one, the bumpy scales, they run all the way down the length of the tail. Also, when the tail grows back, it usually never grows back to the same length it was before. Um, you can tell this one's got a really short, stubby little tail. So that's another thing uh, that happens when they grow back. They don't grow back as long as they used to be. Uh, this isn't the def definite length that they'll grow back. Some will grow back a little longer. Uh, some might grow back shorter. It just all depends. And they also won't have that nice smooth shape, like a nice uh, kind of tapered shape. Sometimes they'll be kind of chunky when they grow back with a chunky base. And I'm going to show you a clip here of one of our other ones with a regrown tail. It has a really huge misshapen regrown tail. It is really big and knob-like almost. So yeah, they definitely don't grow back in the same shape they were before. Now the only thing health-wise um, that has to do with how their, a regrown tail can affect them is that it doesn't have as much fat stores. You can see this one has a bunch of fat stored in that tail. This one doesn't. So. Yeah, if any, any of them had trouble finding food or something, which they wouldn't because they're pet leopard geckos, uh, yeah, they would uh, not have as much fat stores to draw uh, energy off of. So that's one of the bad things about uh, having a regrown tail. Are you falling asleep? You are. I think you're falling asleep. <laughs> but yeah, for as far as pet leopard geckos go, it's just a cosmetic difference between a regrown and a normal regular tail. So yeah, it's no big issue if yours drops its tail, it'll grow back, it'll be okay. It might seem a little scary, it might bleed a little at first, but it will be just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video about our leopard geckos, and we'll see you next time.